Gun owners and gun manufacturers invaded the state capitol complex today in what was called Gun Lobby Day. It comes as lawmakers say they hope to be ready to vote on a package of gun control bills sometime next week. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with more on today's big turnout. Mark. Hi, Ann and Aaron. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. There were no official estimates today, but clearly the crowd was way in excess of 500, and they all had a very clear message for their lawmakers. I'm a single issue voter and I'm here today I, missing a day's pay because I want to speak to my elected officials. Dom and hundreds and hundreds more gun owners from around the state crowded every floor of the ornate legislative office building with a singular message. No further restrictions on gun ownership are needed. When the situation in Cheshire with the Pettits arose that hit a lot of us in that area very hard and I feel that if they had had the tools that they needed that perhaps that situation would have had a different outcome. There was also a large contingent here today from the Connecticut companies that manufacture the AR-15, the rifle used in the Sandy Hook shooting. The firearms industry is an integral part of the economy in the state of Connecticut. Um, it's a booming industry at the time and it would be detrimental to the industry and to employment to ban people out of a job. In fact, Stag Arms in New Britain that manufactures 300 AR-15 rifles every day, closed down today so that their 200 employees could come here. Changing some cosmetic features to a firearm isn't going to do anything to make any of the residents safer, and it's going to make it almost impossible for us to operate here. Jumping on the hype about the cosmetic issues associated with this product is really getting away from that key point, which is to make the state a safer place. And the New Britain company that makes those high-capacity ammunition magazines was also here today saying a ban would force them out of state. It's if, all uh, they make. Not, then it would necessitate a move to uh, a, a state where such restrictions are not in place. And have you had uh, offers from other states? Yes, we've been contacted by numerous states. Now, on Wednesday, the Newtown Action Alliance is planning their own lobby day at the state capitol to lobby for stricter gun control laws. Meanwhile, the legislative leadership is still meeting behind closed doors, trying to hammer out a bill that they can get through on a bipartisan vote sometime next week. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.